if you think you can be a designer and avoid politics altogether, boy, you're wrong. Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to Flux. Today I wanna to talk about the philosophy of design. I think this is even more important than the regular inspiration, tutorials, functional freelancing this stuff because this is actually what we were and what kind of world we are creating by creating stuff in the world, whether it is for the internet or, you know, in the world itself with print, advertising, all that kind of stuff. The reason I'm talking about this today is because what happened in the last few months, because of coronavirus, because of what happened with, you know, the Black Lives Matters in the US, there's a lot of people that have been affected, right? Economically, socially, there's a lot of people who have been affected and a lot of people who spoke up. And uh, some people were getting feedback like, hey, you know, you're a designer, I'm following you on social media for, to hear about design. I don't care about your politics. I don't wanna hear about politics. And I think this is the wrong approach, right? We are all people, we are all political. And I wanna explain why I think that design is political by nature. So uh, the first point that I want to start with is I think that who you work with, who you choose to work with, whether you work in a company or you choose your own clients is, is a political statement, right? Because you actually help these people achieve their mission. And the way that I first felt this is my first full-time job as a designer um, was actually working in what's called online gaming, which is actually gam gambling, right? Online gambling, so online casinos. So I was working there, my first job, uh, which was fun because I got a lot of creative freedom and I got paid to be a designer. But after working there for a year, I realized that what I'm doing is I'm putting my creative um, efforts into helping people get addicted, spend a lot of money and, and you know, ruin their life. And I'm actually supporting this by actually working with this company. And so I've, I left there and I've kind of made a promise to myself that as long as I can find different work, I know that not everybody can can have this privilege of choosing who they work with, um, I will not work with these type of companies again. And you have to realize that wherever you work, you help them achieve their mission. And everything is, again, is political. Everything has money that goes flows into these people. So if you are working in Facebook, for example, or with these big corporations, you're supporting them. If you're working with even if you're, you know, you're working with a company whose CEO is a big donor to a political cause and you work there, you can say, well, I'm not, I'm not, I don't believe their political party that they, you know, vote for, but you help them generate revenue that's going to supporting this political party. So any choice that you make in your work as a designer is by nature political. Then the actual design itself that you do is also affected um, or affecting kind of the political nature. So for example, the, the, the representations of people that you use in, you know, in your imagery, right? Do, do you represent black people? Do you re represent, um, you know, other minorities? How do you represent them? If you don't, it has political impl uh, implication in continuing the status quo. When continuing the status quo, do, uh, the, the most common thing is people saying, you know, I'm just not gonna say anything. But by not saying something, you know, you're basically, the subtext of not creating change is supporting the current situation. And that is a political act. Whether you, you think you're not doing anything, you're actually doing something. So you just have to take responsibility that by not doing anything, you're actually doing something. And you have to realize that. If you're not realizing this, then you're basically just ignoring the fact of life. So by the choices that you make in your visual design, in your choices of imagery, in your choices of clients, in your in your general, you know, uh, writing, copywriting, all of these things have political effects because they're creating social effect, and we, we are creating the the culture, right? The visual culture and the culture itself by the design that we're doing, and so obviously it has political implications. Um, so I, I just want to say, you know, I, I want to be open about where I stand because m mostly I didn't talk about politics. I, I'm doing this YouTube channel for like five years. I don't think I almost spoke about politics. Now I say often in, in a lot of my earlier vlogs, you could have seen that I live in um, Israel, in Tel Aviv, Israel. And uh, 
sometimes you would see comments in in the comments, and I never remove them from people who are maybe in the Arab world, um, who are kind of I wouldn't say haters, but they a lot of times say stuff that you know because I live in Israel, I you know I am part of the uh, occupation of Palestinians and everything that happens be- between the Israeli and and Arab conflict, um, and I've never really you know I never really spoke openly about that. So I just want to, you know, I, I want to talk about this for a second because, I, again, I think this is important and by not speaking out, I'm actually just continuing what's going on. So I want to say, look, I'm an Israeli citizen and by part of that, I had to serve in the military service between the ages of um, 18 to 21. I didn't want this because from my political perspective, I am against, you know, the occupation um, and what's going on between Israelis and Palestinians. Although this is, again, this is a very complicated topic, but, you know, if we're simplifying things, I would say that I am against the occupation. I didn't want to go to the military, uh, but I was, I had to go. And again, I I could have, you know, went to go to jail and and refuse completely and spend three years in jail. I chose not to do this. So I did um, spend three years in the military, Uh, fortunately not combating or, or killing anybody, but that did happen. And by just living in this country, I do pay taxes that are being used to do stuff that I am not very happy with. But, you know, this is just by just just the nature of living. And it is my country and my family lives here and my friends live here. And I love this country, even though I'm not happy with everything that's going on. And I bet a lot of people in the US can relate to loving their country and not uh, happy being happy about what you know, their president is doing. So yeah, life is complicated, but it is always political. And so I encourage you to speak up. And yes, it may not be comfortable at all times, but just know that this can't be avoided. And so if you do not try to mute other people, whether whether they have different opinions than you, or just because you think, oh, I'm following this person for design. So I just never want to hear their political opinion. I think politics always matter. Even if we don't come to an agreement, it's okay to disagree. I have a lot of friends who are with a different political opinions than me. It doesn't, I mean, we can argue and still be friends. And I think it's always important to talk about these things because at the end of the day, everybody wants to live in a better world. And the only way that we can do this is by having these important conversations. I hope you find this helpful. I'll see you on the next design-related video. Bye-bye.